You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though, he's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. You talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other... planets? <laughs> yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you though, after a while, all you really care about is a nice soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. Used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore. But, he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed. And you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah. Well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City, a, a private school, lots of space, and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your abbey here, except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah, if you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine. Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse? Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Hunter, you there? 
I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. Blaze has the parchment. We must find him again before Lilith does. I'm getting used to the Abbey. Didn't think I'd like it at first. Monks lived here isn't on my list of preferred amenities. What changed your mind? It reminds me of a Cree outpost. Mostly solitary, but you have your team around. Enough contact with civilization to avoid going loopy. What do you get when Captain Marvel goes stir-crazy? You tell me. Someone who is not enjoying herself? <laughs> no. I'm having a great time. I thought you were setting up a cheesy joke. Oh, no, I was really curious. When you have cabin fever, what does it look like? How about me 20 minutes ago? Nice. What about you? You died here, so I bet you have some complicated thoughts about this place. Yes, there are bad memories. But the good ones outweigh them all. You're lucky you have that. I'm making some new ones right now. <laughs> no one likes a suck-up hunter. But so am I. We're doing this again. Make plans. This does not look like one of Stark's machines. It is more... alien. Tony, I can't... Think about that now. The Sanctum wasn't just a home. It was a part of me. I know, I know. I just thought it might cheer you up. Hey, I heard about this crazy video online. A monkey riding a cat like it's a horse. <laughs> you want to take a look? No. I think you'd love it. Maybe they were enchanted. I said no, Tony. Don't you realize what I'm going through? My whole world has quite literally blown up. I just want to cheer you up, that's all. Hey, you want to curse me? No, 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 just kidding. I, don't, don't, don't curse me. They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower. Or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? I understand why you did it. The fewer people who know about the parchment, the better. That's exactly right. When everyone operates on a need-to-know basis, they can focus. Is that how you are able to focus? Well, no. I need to know everything. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, uh, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much, especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! <sighs> Gotta get a sign. What 
are you reading, Nico? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find the book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. It has been my experience that what we seek usually has a way of finding us first. Yeah, maybe, but it's not like books just pull themselves off shelves and onto tables. Well, not in this castle, at least. Someone left this out. I wonder who. Sometimes I think this library is haunted by a friendly librarian ghost. Find anything helpful in it? I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathod. Wait, that is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. I doubt there was not a price to such a purification. Oh, there was. So like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No. But the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000-year-old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? Nico, that sounds too dangerous, even for you. I have to try something! Caretaker will not be pleased if she hears about this. Caretaker can deal. Well, I'm gonna find magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. You're the best girl. You know that, right?
Lovecraft, Crowley, Transcendental Magic, Conquest Through Technology and Mysticism by Victor Von Doom. <laughs> Guessing this library doesn't carry the Hardy Boys. I am unfamiliar with their work. I brought you here, Hunter, so we might reconnect with your roots. To remind you of who you are, where you came from, and where you can go. And, more importantly, who I believe you can become. Okay. So, where do you see me going, Steve? Not to sound like a self-help book, Hunter, but sometimes it's more about the journey than the destination. Keep striving to be the best version of the Hunter you can be. If you keep doing the work, nothing will be out of your reach. Except for that row of encyclopedias at the top of that bookshelf. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need a ladder for that. Hey, Charlie Warley puppy face. Morning, Blaze. Want to do some spirit of vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh, man. I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. From what I understand about Blaze, he is not one for brotherhood. Oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't know I had an audience for my little self-pep talk. Just trying to hype myself up. If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. Seeing him in action made me realize how much I need to step up my game. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just... Robbie Reyes, from East L.A. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? You do not want to follow in Blaze's footsteps. He does not seem like a role model for anyone. Really? He's always seemed like the best to me. I think the wisest thing to do would be to chart our own path. Look at me! I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey. Surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? I follow my moral compass and do what I believe is right. No matter what others say. What if you, you know, don't have a moral compass? Or your moral compass is a demon that lives in your head and isn't just a talking cricket. Then I suggest developing one of your own. Crickets are untrustworthy. Well, thanks for the heart to heart, or demon to demon, <laughs> or whatever. Y you've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. Practice makes perfect. Hydra won't want to tussle with me now. Kick. All right then. Ain't gonna go easy, bub. Nice match, kid. See you around. Looking for a fight. Who wants to fight? Can't stop thinking of all the terrified. Hey, can I ask a favor?
Thanks, Hunter. Hey, Hunter. On a scale of Ragnarok to Armageddon, where do you rate the current events? out of ideas. You have more faith in our tech than I do. Less in the tech, more in you. It turns out Tony does occasionally make useful content. Hey, Hunter. This should be interesting. Sometimes I even impress myself. Big Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. The latest advancements from the mind of genius Tony Stark, and they're all for you. See you, Hunter. Great. Now we're making progress, people. Stay out of trouble. How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off-grid. I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events, but Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super sight is gonna go all squiggly. Perhaps there is a silver lining in his inability to be found. There is? Because I'd sure love to hear it. Well, think about it. If the great Captain Marvel cannot locate him, then Lilith does not stand a chance in hell of finding him either. Hmm, good point. But I'd still like to find him. If not for securing the parchment and preventing your mother's gothy Armageddon, then just for the principle of it. I don't like to lose. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. Do let me know when you find him. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out wherever you are. You can't hide forever under whatever... <sighs> 
This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. That is not what I see. I appreciate the rare vote of confidence, but you're wrong. This is my doing. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, oh, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. If she were here, what do you think she would tell you to do? To stop being so stubborn. That bringing everyone together is long overdue. And that she loves you. Yes. So? What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. I'm so proud of her. And you, of course. Don't pout. Let's touch base. My powers don't feel like they're enough. Good thing I've got brains. I feel like we cleared a lot of air last night, but man, the storm clouds still cover the sun. Let's skip the small talk, bub. I needed that.
You wanted to speak, Carol? Yeah, I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for what? For surprising me with your unexpected friendship. I did not see that coming. Believe it or not, I don't have a lot of peeps I can call friends. Not close ones, at least. I do not believe it. You were like the popular girl in one of Nico's high school movies. You're not referring to one of those mean girl characters, are you? Because I know I can spar with the best of them, but I try to give everyone around me a fair shake. No, no. You were like that high school vampire slayer who has a group of friends who look out for her, even though she cannot see exactly how loved and admired she is by all. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Hunter. I feel like you get just how heavy all that extra baggage can be when it comes to having crazy freaking superpowers. Reminds me of a French quote. Give me the dubbed version, please. My French is only the pardonable kind. It roughly translates to, Great responsibility is the inseparable consequence of great power. It sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy now. Anyway, I should let you get back to whatever cool thing you were doing before I dragged you out here to get all gushy. <laughs> Anytime, Carol. wanted to speak? I see you, Hunter. I notice what you've been up to. And what have I been up to exactly? Bad things. Very bad things. The worst. You should see the look on your face. I meant that in a good way. You're embracing the darkness more and more every day, owning it, but not letting it own you. And more importantly, you're proving to be quite a good... Friend. Ileana, you just used the F word. I did. You are my friend, and I am yours. Uh, maybe it is your friendship that has made me more comfortable using the term. I do not keep a lot of them, so don't screw it up by defecting to the light side, okay? Me? Go to the light side? <laughs> Never. For years in this realm, I felt out of place. I was a sorceress who used the darkness within her for the cause of light and life. No one understood me, and most people were terrified. Then I met the Midnight Suns, and they showed me how to make a home in this world. It never felt right for a bad girl like me to fight with the good guys. Until you showed me how. You have shown me a lot too, Ileana. Perhaps, but I haven't told you everything. My time growing up in Limbo was difficult. The creature who brought me there... His name is Mephisto. The Prince of Lies? The Great Corrupter? Master of the Realm of Lost Souls? That Mephisto? The very same. He sought to blacken my soul with corruption. Forced me to hurt, to curse, to kill. I hate what he did, what he made me do. But without it, I am not the person you know. And I would never have met you. Am I a monster for being grateful it happened as it did? Of course not. A terrible creature inflicted pain on a friend of mine. Worse, he made her think it was her own fault. It was my fault. He was always the monster, Ileana. Never you. That is what I see. I do not agree. But I trust you. I shall consider what you said, okay? Okay. Thank you for listening to me. Friend.
fantasies, Hydra winning all the fights. Ready to work? Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. This will make a difference. Do your thing. Show no mercy. We are doing well so far. For now. They cannot possibly match your strength. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Let's try this.
Welcome assistance. Some for the rest of us. You're just lucky you aren't allowed to take your life. Is that everyone? Too weak for this fight. We've done it. Excellent work. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right. It's not far from here. Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. The 
would you say what it's about? Uh, just that we all had to be here. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you're hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. Take your time. I will catch up with the others. Thank you. It won't be long. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Good thing you're fireproof. Uh, what? Nothing. I have a feeling about the meeting. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. I dislike this. Such a charming location for... whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could... What would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. Big news, whatever it is. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. You know how long this will take? I do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. An auspicious night. Don't you think, Mr. Roger? Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Why? It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. I thought there'd be snacks. I thought there'd be... All right. I'm ready. You're all ready to hear what you have to say. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Well, there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the Hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? If anyone should be held responsible, it is me. Agree to disagree, boss. Can't believe I'm saying this, but Tony's right. And that's my new ringtone. Don't ruin the moment. It is true. I have not done enough for any team. If I am the one who brings people together to defeat Lilith, 
I have already failed. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could have fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? Only if everyone wants me to do it. I can only speak for myself, but you already convinced me. Just like that? It's a heavy responsibility. I wanted to hear you say you're willing to bear it. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. This is all so new to me. I will rely on every one of you. Help me do the best I can. I will make mistakes. We all will. But the team is here to hold us steady, no matter if we stumble. Highly inspirational, boss, but let's get down to Vibranium Tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. Tony, do you believe the world is truly in danger? Of course. And do you believe I can lead the team against this threat? Well, yeah. Then you and the rest of the Avengers need to trust me to do what is best for all of us. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. There is no future where the Midnight Suns miss the fight. That's all we needed to hear. You need to hear more than that. So does everyone here. Nico, Blade, Ileana, and Robbie may have been here first. But now? We are all the Midnight Suns. When every one of us believes that, we will be ready to face my mother. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the Hunter. So, that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you, and I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? 
No, you drain faster than bathwater. Should be like this one. Unpleasant? Contentious? No. Interesting. And over in five minutes. Ah, Hunter. Good to see you. I hope Colossus didn't get wind of all that chaos we wreaked. Where's the Sarah I know? The one who yells at everyone? Kicks indecision straight in the ass. Up for a drink? Common room? In a few minutes. Bye. 